and this is my second video on this ZB2L3 it's a discharger I would be discussing or telling those of you who wants to hardwire it instead of using this mini USB connector to power it up you can use these pins here to solder some leads at the back of it but before I get into this this is a discharger before you place your battery into the holder the battery must be fully charged and then you would place it into this when you do place it you would it would come on you connect it you press this and it would give the discharge voltage here if you are satisfied with the discharge voltage you would press ok the three buttons here this one is ok this is plus this is minus when it do give the discharge reading you could increase here you could decrease here but with the 18650s it discharge at 3 volts and it's wise that you leave it at the 3 volts it discharging at at the back of it it also comes with these two resistors at the back you would see R and R you would connect your resistors here on R and R and then your holder you would see plus and minus you will connect your holder one on plus the other one on minus it takes five volts let me see if my iron is hot enough I have already tint the wires let me see if the solder iron is hot enough now to do this So you would take the minus and you would solder it right here.
yeah this is it once you've got that you'll put in your you would connect your your battery holder minus it has these screws here you would slacken them you would put minus in minus and you tighten you put this one in plus So tighten it. Then you'd put your two resistors. The resistors don't have no special way of going. It don't have a plus and a minus. And you'd screw it down. When you do this, don't let the resistors touch the wire because the resistors do get hot and it would melt the wire. Now with that done, you'd put your 12 volts, your 5 volts, sorry. Onto it. Okay, I had to switch cable. I had some problem with the cable. Uh, then you would put a unit on. And uh, you'll place a battery into it just make sure the polarity is right it reads the voltage of the battery that battery is a discharge battery and you press you see it gives 2.5 I've already discharged that battery Check the polarity again, put it in. You put off, you put back 
on this is a discharge battery also this is a battery that haven't been discharged you press you see it give the free 0 0.0 volts once you satisfied all these batteries would give the same thing you press ok and it would start the count that's a milli the volts milliamp hours amperage and volts again it would continue doing that all the time if you find this video was helpful please give the thumbs up uh, subscribe click on the bell icon to be notified of further videos you could also share this video video any comment put it in the description below thank you until the next one Better let go, uh, get aside, yeah.